Greetings. This is a quick video for anyone using a USB 3 802.11 AC wireless adapter with their computer. If yours uses a Realtek 8812BU Wi-Fi chip, you may find that it's not running at its best. This chip is supposed to automatically switch from USB 2 up to USB 3 speed if you connect to a high speed network, but this can be a bit flaky, especially in Windows, and you may find yourself stuck on USB 2, which will limit your connection speed to a lot less than the Wi-Fi page claims. To check this, with your adapter plugged into a USB 3 port, connect to a fast network, then click your search button or bar and use it to bring up the Bluetooth and other devices menu. Scroll down to find your wireless adapter, and if it's whining that it would perform better in a USB 3 port, Windows hasn't automatically bumped its connection up. You can try and fix this by making one change and two optional changes to your computer's registry. To do this, first open RegEdit. Double click H key local machine and then system. Now press Ctrl and F to find and look for forced USB mode. This should take you to one of the settings within the 8812BU driver settings and the result is probably set to zero, which is automatic. Double click this and change it from zero to two. Now unplug and reconnect your wireless adapter. You should find it will rejoin and quickly step up to USB 3 mode. Depending on your computer, you may find this is not stable. With it plugged in directly to my USB 3 adapter card, it's fine. If I plug it into the USB ports on the side of my Dell monitor, it's fine. If I plug it into the USB 3 ports on my computer motherboard, it keeps disconnecting, which is probably why the extra USB menu options tend to be turned off within that driver's setup file. If it's unstable, just change that forced USB mode setting back to zero, unplug and plug back in again. Job done. You can do this in RegEdit even if the Wi-Fi adapter is unplugged if it's constant connecting and disconnecting is getting on your nerves. Now I said there were two optional changes. These bring those extra menu options back into play. To do this, press Ctrl and F once more, and this time search for USB Mode 3. You should find it comes up with a list of options you normally find in the USB Switch Mode Settings menu. Right click in the right hand pane and click New, String Value, 1, press Enter. Double click this new entry and give it the value USB 2.0. Right click again and click new, string value 2. Press enter. Double click this new entry and give it the value USB 3.0. In the advanced settings of the network card you should now find that the USB switch mode setting now has these extra speed settings. So you can lock the card at one or the other or choose from the settings you had before. I should give some credit to this old D-Link forum post which shows the location of the settings within the driver and made me think that there might be something in the registry worth digging out. I hope someone finds this useful. Thanks for watching.